Seriously, Mauricio, get out. If you don't get out right now, I'm putting you on YouTube in your underwear. I'm not kidding. I gotta work. Go. What's up, party people? Yeah, I know. I'm lost in the 90s or the 80s. I don't know when that was a popular term, but I'm seriously old. And that was a term from my youth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dork. It is monthly budget report time and yeah, we were seriously over. I mean, seriously over. But it's not from what you think, so stick around and we will get right into it. If you are new to my channel, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and then go on and click that bell notification icon so you won't miss a thing. Let me go over the things we did well and the things we failed miserably on and where some of the expenses came from. The first thing, as you know, I budgeted $400 for gas, but Mauricio started his new job and so we didn't get even close to that. We only spent $201.11 on gas this month and I expect next month is even going to be less. So super excited about that. The next one is the car wash service. Now, there might have been a little bloodshed over this because when we got charged for the car wash service, we got charged $24.99, which I couldn't understand because usually it's around $60. And so I asked Mauricio, I didn't understand. And um, yeah, he didn't cancel it at all. He said he forgot. $25 of forgot. I still don't understand why it's $25 as opposed to $60 that it normally is. But if you're going to forget, at least he forgot in the amount of less. I have threatened his life if he does not cancel this in an appropriate time frame, like before it comes through next month. So needless to say, that is getting re-added in into our August budget. The next difference was Molina Summer Camp. It started out at $1,280 for this month. And it finished up at 1220 for this month. And the reason is that the school screwed up and forgot to charge us for swimming. Um, so I'm going to roll that over to next month because I guarantee they won't forget next month. And they'll charge us for this month and next month. So, um... Yeah, $60. And truth be told, I did let the school know that they had not charged us for it because that's the right thing to do. No matter how much the school irritates me, it's the right thing to do. The next overage is uh, $113.48 for groceries. What ha we are finding that happens is while we give my parents money and they pay for food and they pay for um, utilities and all of that, we feel really bad about making them buy stuff for our lunches. And historically, we would take just leftovers, but both Mauricio and I have started eating really, really unhealthily by eating leftovers. So we've decided that we're going to start getting our own lunches. And so next month, you're going to see that actually written into the budget. It was not written into the budget in, for when I filmed but it will be by the end of the month because again when we have when we had our budget meeting we discussed it and we both feel like we can't ask my parents to pay for our our stuff that is lunch supplies um out of what we're paying them that that needs to be on top of everything and so we're totally okay with that that 113.48 was a factor in this month's budget and then another one was the 23.45 and that was also stuff for Mauricio to eat at work because he is like a huge snacker. So I sent him up to the grocery store that is right near the office and he went and got some snacks and stuff like that to keep at his desk. Here is where we had major overage issues. And this is the section that caused us to completely blow our budget, like 100% blown. We had to actually take money from the August budget and apply it to the July budget to cover these things. And that is the bonus of being one month ahead. We had a lot of un unplanned medical expenses this month. And while we have our medical sinking fund, it's not to the level where we can start pulling from it. We need it to be 
like a baseline level before we start pulling from it. And it was going to take us a full year plus to get to there. So we're trying to just cash flow everything by moving money around. So we have a lot of extra in the August budget because as you know, the money I earn in July goes to the August budget. Same with Mauricio. And July was a three paycheck month. So we can actually pull quite a bit of money from August to cover the overages in July without it directly impacting our August budget. It will mean less to debt, but unplanned medical expenses, they happen. And if we didn't have our budget set up the way it was, we'd have to pay with a credit card or overdraft or something. So the fact that we're not doing that in my book is a huge win. So in our medical, we had 31.17 for medication at CVS, another 27.85 for medication for me at CVS. So then we had co-pays for Mauricio at the dermatologist, which is $25 and a copay for Wendy at the dermatologist, which is 35. Now, legitimately our copays should be exactly equal. I don't know why they have Mauricio's copay at 25 and mine at 35 because we go to the same dermatologist. But they did, so I anticipate that $10 difference will come when we get our final bill. If not, you know, that's fine. Um, me, I had to go to the cardiologist because it's a whole big, long stress story. I was having, you know, like heart racing issues, which was no big deal. I knew 100% it was stress related. I was not even remotely concerned um, and I w went for my physical a couple months back, you know, your annual checkup, which is covered 100% by my um, insurance. So we don't even have to pay a copay, which is awesome. But in that, as I was walking out, I um, she asked me if there was anything else that I should know. And I jokingly said, other than that whole heart beating out of my chest thing, no, I'm good. And it was literally a joke because I know it's stress related. And she went, huh? And so I told her, no, it's no big deal. It's stress related. And she said, so, okay, let's do an EKG on you just in case, just to check you out. And apparently that did not go so well. So she ran some blood tests to see if there was a reason for the EKG problem. And they came back negative. And by the way, all my blood work is amazing. So um, there was nothing out of range in my blood work, which is incredible considering how bad my blood work was two years ago. And this is the first checkup I've been to since I've lost all that weight. So yeah, I was not diabetic. My A1C was fantastic, but whatever, I'm getting off track. So she referred me to a cardiologist and I went to the cardiologist this month and my EKG at the cardiologist was fine. He did look at my one in the doctor's office and he said he doesn't know why it was bad because mine was fine. But based on family history, he wanted me to have a whole bunch of tests. So I had to wear a 24-hour heart rate monitor. I'm going to get an echocardiogram and I have to do a stress test. And I think there's one other test I have to do. But I fully expect those to come back completely fine, all except for the very large bill that I'm going to have to pay part of. <laughs> So fine, that'll probably come in August, September, however long it takes them to bill my insurance. That appointment was a $35 copay, which was super annoying. And then we had the multiple dentist appointments. Now, the good news, as I mentioned, Mauricio had dental and the dental insurance he has, the dentist that we were going to is a preferred provider. Two of these, the cleaning fees occurred prior to him being covered and then the filling for me actually occurred after he was covered. But what the company said is they will have me do the payment. And then what they're going to do is bill our insurance and they'll apply whatever they get back to Mauricio's work. So I paid full payment for that. My cleaning was $151. Mauricio's cleaning was $97. And the reason his was less than mine is he apparently needs uh, like deep cleaning, descaling or something. Isn't that what they do to fish tanks? I don't know. But he needs a really thorough, much more expensive deep cleaning. And I guess it involves um, like numbing him up a little bit to do. So they are going to do that after his dental insurance kicks in. 
So the superficial cleaning was only $97. And then my filling was $93. And I just had that a couple of days ago. And I don't know, I don't think I actually posted this on uh, the internet, but it was super funny. In fact, I know I did a video. <laughs> I, I filmed a video just joking on this and I'll insert that here. You wanna make Mauricio laugh? Apparently all you have to do is paralyze like half of your face. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> so freaking funny like literally half of my face was paralyzed so I was trying to smile I can't even really it's a, like I I couldn't I can't even do it right now and so the medical expenses really blew us out of the water they were almost $500 this month which in our zero based budget does not fly and again I had the money in the sinking fund we really didn't want to pull money from the sinking fund to pay these bills and we had a little bit of extra so soon our medical sinking fund will be at the level where we can start pulling from the sinking fund to fuel all of those payments and that will be awesome awesome and in our cushion category the category that usually throws us off budget it wasn't as bad as it it is when we are over we did have some extra money that came in so there are a few things that we put into the budget in about halfway through. Um, so let me go over that now. The first thing in the category is me eating out. That was actually a rollover from when I was doing stuff for work in June. So that just didn't come through. So it's a kind of a wash we added the money in at the top. So that actually isn't really an overage because it was in the June budget. The parade I talked about in my mid-month budget update. And if you haven't seen that, I'll link it in the eye in the sky. Or is it the eye in the sky? I don't know where it is. It's up here somewhere. It's an eye. Click on it and you can watch. I'm an idiot. And then once Mauricio got his job, we decided that we wanted to go ahead and do something fun for the family to celebrate and like let Melina participate in the, the fact that her daddy had gotten a job too. So we decided to take Melina out to see the new Minions movie and that ended up being 81 87 And we, you know, between the tickets and we got popcorn and I think Sour Patch Kids and Slurpees or something like that. We had a blast and that was worth every cent. And we're so glad we did that. Melina was talking about it for like two weeks. The next one is a category that I'm not sure how to deal with. Um, it Since I am now in management, I am in situations where I cannot eat my lunch at work sometimes. And we have work lunch meetings and I am required to attend or I go to headquarters and I can't bring my lunch or whatever. So I this month I spent $58.88 eating out. Lunch is out. And I try and pick the cheapest thing on the menu, but but sometimes some of the restaurants that, that we have our meetings at or whatever are fairly expensive. So I'm thinking I probably need to start putting a line item into the budget, but I just, I hate to do that. So for now it's staying in our cushion category and I'm okay with that. Uh, the next one is parking on Mauricio's first day of work. Because Mauricio works in the building next to mine, Mauricio is not a direct hire, he's a contractor. He does not get his parking paid for. I, as a direct hire, get my parking paid for, but there will be days where we have to have two separate cars. We will try and minimize that as much as possible because parking in that parking garage is $10 a day and it is expensive. So on his first day of work, he had to go to his new company's headquarters and came in about halfway through the day. So we had two separate cars and we had to pay for parking. So expect that you will see parking throughout our budgets, but we'll just use the cushion category for that. We're really trying to rein in the use of the cushion, but that's why it's there. The next one is actually kind of funny. We were getting Melina dressed one morning and it was a couple of Saturdays. It was like the third Saturday into the month. And I was getting her dressed and 
I was putting her, helping her put her shoes on and she was like, mommy, these hurt my feet. And I said, you wore them yesterday. They don't hurt your feet. And she's like, can I take off my socks? They really hurt my feet. And I said, Melina, you wore socks with these yesterday. And she's like, mommy, I'm not kidding. They really hurt. So I said, okay, let's, let's put a different pair of shoes on. So I put a different pair of shoes on and she was like, mommy, these, these hurt my feet too. So we went through four or five pairs of shoes and all of them were too small. I, I don't know what happened, but that child grew a whole shoe size in a night. Um, I generally try and buy her shoes slightly too big so that she has room to grow in them. So it probably wasn't overnight. It probably was like they were touching at that day, but then overnight they grew, you know, a fraction of an inch and then they were too small. So literally on Saturday, we had to scrap the plans that we had. We put her in a pair of shoes where her toes could hang out over the end and it wasn't a big deal. And we went out to Marshall's um, and just bought her some new shoes. We bought a couple of pairs of Converse for her and a pair of tan dress shoes. So we have not dealt with that whole issue yet. Those were emergency shoes. So we're going to be evaluating in August what other shoes she needs. I don't really want to buy summer shoes because it's only going to be like two more months that she's able to wear summer shoes. And you know, the summer camp she's in, she's not allowed to wear sandals. So really the only thing we need is like a pair of black dress shoes still. And I might get something that she can wear to school. Also, I don't know. I, I haven't decided. That was $60 and 39 cents of last minute unplanned shoe related expenses. And what was so funny is as we got there, Mauricio started looking at shoes for him. And I was like, we're not here for you. You don't get new shoes. He's like, but I need new shoes. And I said, those are written into the August budget. You cannot buy new shoes today. <laughs> it was really funny. And in fact, one of the people that heard me say that to him, they laughed. And I could tell that they must have been budgeters also because they laughed and gave me like that knowing nod. Yep. I'm right there with you. So then that same Saturday, we were out running around doing several things that needed to be done and we forgot to eat lunch. This is what happens when you don't have a plan, y'all. I always have a plan because if you have a plan, you don't spend extraneous money. But we had no plan because we ended up running out for shoes and a couple of other things that we didn't, didn't involve money, but they weren't in the plan. So we got out after the shoes, Melina was like, I'm hungry. And we still had errands to run. So we went to McDonald's. And then, of course, if you go to McDonald's, you have to go and get Cold Stone also. So we ended up spending $28.68 in junk food, which did not make me happy at all. But it is what it is and life goes on. And in this last one, I actually referenced this um, purchase in the collab I did with Connie Porter. If you didn't see that, I'll link it in the eye in the sky also. And Mauricio needed a cord for his headphones at work. And I get it because I've had to buy the cord too, but I bought mine on Amazon for a lot less money than he bought his. And that was $9 and 53 cents at micro center. So he could have a cord. Our utility started out at 541 and ended up at 543, so I called that a wash. Transportation started out at 595 and ended up at 226, and the difference in that is that Mauricio got a job and no longer has to drive Uber, Amazon Flex. Molina's school started out at 1859 and ended up at 1546, and the difference in that is that the school didn't charge us for the last month of July yet. So that's rolling over into the August budget. The stores category started out at 190 and ended up at 254. And the reason it wasn't so significantly over is because we didn't use most of our Amazon money. So we had about $100 in there that we hadn't used. So it really wasn't as bad as it could have been if we had used all our Amazon money. Well, insurance and taxes started out at $299 and finished up at $299 because, I mean, what are you going to spend in insurance and taxes that you'd don't plan for. Miscellaneous started out at 314 and ended up at 334. And that difference is Skype because Mauricio needs to call his mom more. Our total debt payments started out at 4,811 and ended up at 5,000. 
504. And the reason for that, now I realize that I addressed borrowing money and this, but you got to remember that we make our payments to our, our debts at the very beginning of the month. And so I didn't know we were going to need that money later on. So it's actually kind of a wash because the 500 we won't be paying in August, we're actually paying this month. And then our cushion category started at 100 and it ended up at 284 and I went over all those expenses. My YouTube category started out at 1449 and ended up at 2448. And the reason for that is the UMI downloader, which I mentioned that I am really enjoying and um, it was unplanned initially, but it will be planned from now on because I really like it. Our medical expenses ended up started at zero as they always do or almost always. Sometimes I know I have a doctor's appointment and I'll put the copay in there, but I usually don't and ended up at $4.95 and that is where the money we had to borrow from August. Our sinking fund started out at $3.25 and ended up at $3.25 because we always are going to pay our sinking funds because we love them and they make me happy. And it finished up at two ninety nine. Hey, what? I just finished that credit card application you told me to do. <laughs> My husband, he's so humorous. He scared the crap out of me, though. <laughs> that is a thirty seven minute video. That's a lot. If you are new to my channel, please click on my big laughing face to subscribe and I will put up two videos so you can keep on watching. This video is my latest one and this video is one YouTube picked out just for you. I'll see you in the next one. See ya!